Hi everyone, this is just a really short video. Uh, just here to track uh, what sort of value investors have recently been buying into Seritage growth properties. And as you can see uh, in the first quarter of 2020, we have Eddie Lambert adding 154% to his position. And uh, also we can see Monish Fabrai buying into the stock. Guy Spear has added another 100,000 and he initially held uh, 400,000 shares. So I could see Guy Spear definitely lowering his cost basis at this point. And um, when you see the only one that's selling off is Third Avenue Management. But I feel like this is more like a portfolio balancing activity for them because as we can see in Q1 2020, when the prices were a lot lower, they've been buying they've uh, added heavily almost 94.6 percent to their existing um, holdings in heritage growth so over here it said that when pabrai brought in his average buy price was around 11.4 i think it's a bit lower but um, i mean the stock today is at around 12 12.7 i'm sure he sees it as a maybe a 5x or a 10x in the next few years. I, I know Monish Abrai likes to invest in stocks with a lot of, with high uncertainty and low risk, as he likes to put it. So it should be interesting to see how this stock plays out. But yeah, we have a lot of good, um, we have insiders buying into the stock. We have a lot of noted value investors buying into the stock. It might be, something that's actually interesting in this market that seems well otherwise overvalued and just driven by a lot of tech stocks. We recently had uh, Amazon talk about how they might be looking to use Sears as Sears um, outlets as their fulfillment centers. And uh, the stock really shot up on that day, the news came out and it's cooled off since then. So it's interesting to see what Seritage Growth Properties has in store for the next few years. Hopefully it should be good. 